Alfasa, or this is the cranial cavity. Continue. Okay, guess this is the cranial cavity, and to see, to see the cranial cavity, you have to remove the calvaria. The calvaria is consisted of the uh, frontal bone, two parietal, and occipital bone. This is the sagittal suture. Right underneath the sagittal suture, you can see the sagittal, uh, uh, the, sag the, uh, sag the sulcus for the sagittal, the superior sagittal venous sinus over here. And these are the grooves. Uh, these the gro uh, these grooves are present because of the um, the uh, brain underneath and uh, this is the sagittal the uh, superior venus. sagittal venous <laughs> no like you. okay so this is the uh, anterior cranial fossa and it extends from the uh, frontal bone until the lesser wings of the sphenoid over here and it uh, it has uh, three parts the uh, orbital plates over here and the cribriform plate over here and the lesser wings of the sphenoid over here. The orbital uh, plates are forming the uh, floor of the uh, anterior cranial fossa and the roof of the orbits. And the cribriform plate is forming the floor of the anterior cranial fossa and the roof of the nasal cavity. And it has openings to uh, pass the fibers of the olfactory nerve. And this uh, part over here is the crista galli. The crista galli is where the falx cerebri is attached to. And, uh, okay, so this is the anterior cranial fossa. Okay. Ah, uh, yeah, this one is the... Uh, foramen cecum. The foramen cecum. Okay. Now to the middle cranial fossa. The middle cranial fossa here is uh, uh, extending from the lesser wings of the sphenoid until the petrous part of the temporal bone. Um, this is the petrous part of the temporal bone. This is the uh, lesser wings of the sphenoid. Uh, it has two parts. It, ha it has a central part and uh, uh, 